<laughs> just defiant. He's like, oh, I'm going to take whatever I can take right now. I'm taking that upper left hand base. Still something Colony to defend, but it looks like the two siege tanks are being dropped off to the south. And it's going to, wow, the drones uh, don't even have penetration there. So those siege tanks going to be able to take out that base. <laughs> At least the Hydrosten and the Lurker upgrade um, still complete, but I don't think you can... Act well, you can't morph uh, Lurkers still unless you have the Lair. So at the 9 o'clock position, it's just going to be lower tier tech units. It's just going to be Hydrosks and Zerglings with one Defiler and three Lurkers to support to try to defend that 9 o'clock. The Scourge running in, I don't know what that was about. Oh, he needed to really preserve... I don't think he realized that dropship was out in the mix, or maybe he was just Valkyrie hunting. Um, but sacrificing some Scourge, I assume, for scouting... He had to know about that dropship, so I'm not sure. Maybe even to free up some supply. Luxury now moving up for, it looks like, a big counterattack. He realizes he just can't sit back and win this match, losing all of his drones here at the 3 o'clock position. So I think his plan is to go in with one big counterattack and just hope to get it done with some lurkers, with some defilers, and with some hydralisks over that secondary. And again, uh, go, in, uh, go out into elimination mode and just rely on the fact that he is, that as long as he can take everything out at that location with some beautiful micro, that Up Magic isn't going to be able to swing back around to the 9 o'clock and, and basically be able to take out that match from that stage. The lurkers moving in. It's going to come down to one big swarm. There's that swarm right there. He can't even afford to consume any units at this stage. It looks like the Oh, uh, going in, lost a lot of those Hydralisks. Oh, losing all those Hydralisks. And it looks like he actually split up some Lurkers to the 9 o'clock to try to take those Goliaths out and try to salvage a drone. So actually it looks like Comsat is up. Wow, getting one Comsat up and lifting up that Command Center to save it. So really clutch maneuver there by Up Magic. And it looks like those Lurkers aren't going to get taken out um, otherwise. And they're going to wait for that Swarm to finish, trying to back up. And they're, they're going to have to distance mine, actually. Maybe even plan another Comsat before they can take it. So actually Up Magic completely out of resources at this stage. So that's another factor. Luxury is mining at the 9 o'clock, and it looks like he's going to start mining in this upper left-hand base. We're up Magic completely out, completely out, uh, now that Luxury able to push up and take out that secondary. And it looks like some drones just hanging out, or I'm sorry, some, some SCVs just hanging out there waiting uh, to get, and they're going to wait for that comp set before he can retake in secondary. Luxury actually is already kind of mined out. He can actually consume one of those Hydralisks now. I'm pressing with another attack, but I think actually between that luxury, because he was able to stop mining at that secondary, I think he's going to be able to take this match out. Because even with that single defiler, um, and actually, <laughs> I take that back. I still think it could be anyone's game. We've got a dropship moving out to that bottom left-hand corner. If that swings around to the nine o'clock and luxury doesn't do anything about it, that could be the difference. It looks like it's going to bring up some SC. It's going to get those Marines actually out of that bunker, loading up a couple troops right there. The Valkyrie running up, just kind of checking things out. Out. I don't know if there's a siege tank to deal with that uh, with those sunken colonies in the mix. Um, wandering up, trying to remain invisible as best as possible. Oh, that Valkyrie's not long for life here. Going to spot out those Hydralisks, but, and also going to spot out that Defiler. Uh, maybe some Lurkers, but maybe not a lot else. Hydralisks moving to the 6 o'clock position to try to take out the mech, that, uh, the mech army that's pushing through. They do have detection to deal with the mines here in the meantime. Just a single siege tank and a couple Goliaths. So it looks like Luxury realizing if he can take out the army, uh, Up Magic isn't going to be able to turn around and replenish his army quickly enough to really uh, put up much of a fight here. Uh, the dropship actually able to rescue. Ooh, able to uh, fight that those units back. And now the Valkyrie actually running around and doing some damage, trying to take out as many Overlords as possible. So even if Luxury has the economy, he's not going to be able to really back it up. Some interesting dropship micro coming into play here. And it looks like one Goliath going to be sacrificed to save both the dropship and the Valkyrie at that top left corner. I still think Luxury has a good is in a really good position though, because Up Magic just completely out of resources. He's only mining off a limping base right here. He still has some siege tanks, but um, and why is it always Up Magic in these matches? Uh, but at the same time, yeah, he just doesn't have a lot of units to work with. He's only got it looks like that one dropship. Um, otherwise, and and still Luxury at that nine o'clock base mining fine. Um, also mining that upper left hand corner. I'm not sure if he's already tucked up to lair. Still has drops, still has those overlords to work with, and still has a lot of hydralisks. Um, it looks like a comsat going off to kind of check things out here in the field. Oh, dropship vulnerable. Looks like it is going to escape with its life, but going to take a couple hits um, while it was in transition. Factory kind of floating out. Uh, <laughs> and now the command center moving back down to try to reestablish position, but still three bases versus one. Even with a couple, with this amount of siege tanks out in the field, and I think, yeah, we do have a layer tech back up because I'm seeing, I think that was a lurker being morphed uh, right there. So I think that upper left hand base is actually the layer here, which may or may not come into play later. I don't think, well, it's possible that Up Magic would do a short drop across the 12 o'clock layer in this match. Uh, an Overlord coming in just to spot things out. I don't think there's anything in there. The siege tanks unseaging, still some Goliaths here to the south. And it looks like Up Magic up to something. He's going to start moving out 
with the troops that he has. Okay, he's going to load up those Goliaths, and now I'm kind of curious what he's up to. And uh, Luxury had a kind of a defensive posture while he masses up. He's He can just sit pretty, and he'll be okay. Uh, a lurker at that, I'm not even sure where those Marines fr came from, but I think maybe out of that bunker with that dropship in the mix, getting taken out fairly rapidly. It looks like both players setting up for an attack. Luxury still needs to keep denying that secondary, and it looks like he's going to load up a, hydro a bunch of Hydralis bombs to do so. And Up Magic going to go for a drop in that bottom left-hand corner, kind of over that edge, but I don't think he's going to be able to accomplish a lot with it. So the Lurker is going to move up with another swarm, and it's going to be a two-pronged attack that Up Magic does not have the units to defend. Does not have the units to defend at all. Okay, the Goliath's coming along that southern end uh, at that natural second. You're going to be able to get some drones. The Overlords are in position. It looks like they're, they're oh man, um, beautiful swarm. That was a perfectly placed swarm. Um, the Hydralis being dropped from behind, and that was a beautiful combination attack from Luxury. Uh, I, will it be enough, though? It looks like the siege tank still standing, not able to take out as much as they wanted to. He's emptied out that natural secondary. Um, up magic bleeding troops though, and not he just does not have a lot of troops, but he's able to take out all the hydralisks otherwise. And the SEV's group repairing that siege tank still end up losing it. Still three hydralisks left alive. You can see the sweat coming off of Up Magic's face here, really intensely concentrating. And still a Defiler and Lurker in the mix, and it looks like Luxury still has his economy standing, still siphoning hydralisks out. Up Magic despite a very valiant effort, loses to Luxury. Very heads-up play altogether on both sides. Extremely entertaining match. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Once again, special shout-out to Reddit. Go check it out. And otherwise, broodwar.chippin.com. Donate to the Brood War 2 Child's Play cause. Thanks for listening, guys.